The rotor chamber on these machines is a variable volume mixing chamber, just like all cat reclaimers. And what does that mean? Well, that means the deeper you're cutting with the rotor, the further into the ground that the rotor is, the more volume is left available in the chamber to hold material. And why is that important? When you're trying to reach a gradation spec, oftentimes you need to hold the material in the chamber for an amount of time to knock it down to its original aggregate size or to really well mix any additives that you're putting into the soil. So we have the variable volume chamber to aid in that, but we also have hydraulically actuated front and rear doors on the machine because in order to hold that material into the chamber, you need to keep your door closed more on the rear of the machine. Now to aid in that, we also offer a floating rear door on this chamber. And what does that mean? Well, that is enabled in the display in the cabin. The operator can choose the amount of down pressure that they'd like on that rear door, which allows the door to open if there's a lot of material in the chamber. So the operator doesn't need to constantly monitor the rear door position. They can simply set it and let it float. Also on the side of the chamber, you see some indicators. First is our depth indicator on the side of the chamber here and at the front leg, we have another indicator. In order for the ground person to understand how deep the machine is cutting, you simply subtract the number you see on the leg from the number on the side of the chamber and that will be your depth of cut. So at those depths of cut, those lines represent the leading edge or the trailing edge of the rotor. And what this does is give the ground person information to help guide the operator when avoiding obstacles on the ground. You'll notice also on the side plates at the front and rear of the side plates, we have wear ski components that are bolted on. So those are easily replaced when they are worn out.